Israel's newest submarine has arrived in Haifa, all the way from Germany. Israeli forces are massing in the south right now. Israel and Iran have been locked in a shadow war for decades, each trying to undermine the other's influence and security in the Middle East. The conflict has escalated dramatically over the last week, with Gaza becoming a war zone driven by escalations from both sides. Israel has responded with unimaginable force against militants that blend into the innocent population, most of whom are trapped and unable to protect themselves. But now there have been signs of even further escalation, with sightings of a new submarine equipped with a serious serious threat capable of reaching much further targets. Now, Israel has added a new weapon to its arsenal that could signal intentions of a war beyond Gaza. So what is this weapon? Join us as we take a look at Israel's new nuclear submarine and how it could signal further escalations. Iran and Israel have no diplomatic relations and are considered enemies by each other. Iran does not recognize the legitimacy of Israel as a state and supports groups that oppose Israel, such as Hezbollah, Hamas, and Islamic Jihad. Israel sees Iran as a threat to its security and existence, especially because of its nuclear program and its involvement in Syria and other regional conflicts. The relations between the two countries have gone through four major phases. The ambivalent period from 1947 to 1953, the friendly period during the era of the Pahlavi dynasty from 1953 to 1979, the worsening period following the Iranian Revolution from 1979 to 1990, and the ongoing period of open hostility since the end of the Gulf War in 1991. The current phase of conflict has escalated in recent years as Iran has expanded its influence and presence in the Middle East, while Israel has tried to prevent it from achieving its goals. The two countries have engaged in a proxy war in Syria, where Iran supports the government of Bashar al-Assad and Israel backs some of the opposition groups. They have also exchanged attacks on each other's infrastructure, such as nuclear facilities, oil tankers, and military bases. And now Iran is reportedly funding Hamas in its attacks in Israel. And so Israel has a submarine that is capable of carrying cruise missiles, conventional or nuclear warheads, and can operate stealthily for long periods of time without refueling. A new submarine that is is currently being built in Germany has attracted a lot of attention from the naval community and the public alike. The reason for this interest is the unusually large sale of the submarine, which is expected to have some remarkable capabilities. According to experts, this submarine, which is named the future INS Draken, will be able to store and launch nuclear-tipped cruise missiles from its sail. This would make it a powerful addition to Israel's secretive nuclear arsenal, which the country has never officially confirmed or denied. The the Draken submarine was recently spotted during its launch ceremony in Kiel, Germany. It is the seventh submarine that Germany has built for Israel under a long-term agreement. However, unlike the previous six submarines, which belong to the Dolphin II class, this new vessel is a modified version with a longer hull and a larger sail. The length of the hull is estimated to be around 73 meters compared to 68 meters for the Dolphin II class. The sail is also noticeably bigger with a height of about 12 meters and a width of about 8 meters. The larger hull and sail are not just for aesthetic purposes. They are designed to accommodate an advanced air-independent propulsion system, which allows the submarine to operate underwater for longer periods without surfacing or using nuclear power. The AIP system uses fuel cells to generate electricity from hydrogen and oxygen, which are stored in tanks inside the submarine. This gives the submarine a stealth advantage over conventional diesel-electric submarines, which have to surface periodically to recharge their batteries using noisy diesel engines. But the most intriguing feature of the Draken submarine is its potential ability to carry and launch nuclear-tipped cruise missiles from its sail. This is what experts like H.I. Sutton, a submarine specialist, and Matus Mutney, a naval analyst, believe based on their analysis of the available photos and information. They suggest that the large sail could house vertical launch tubes for cruise missiles, similar to those found on some Russian submarines. These tubes will be located behind the conning tower, which is the raised structure on top of the sail that contains the periscopes and other sensors. In 2016, North Korea made headlines by unveiling its Simpo-class ballistic missile submarine, 
What set the Simpo class apart is its unique throwback missile storage system, reminiscent of the older Soviet Navy Golf class submarines. In the Golf class, a missile was stored in the sail, which was a distinctive feature. These submarines could house up to three RF-11 nuclear-tipped missiles in the sail. This design was influenced by both the size of the submarine and the technological limitations of the era, which resulted in a rather unconventional configuration. Now, when we shift our focus to the Draken class, submarine, it's likely that it shares a similar arrangement. Previously, Israeli submarines didn't feature this larger sail. They launched cruise missiles from their torpedo tubes. This prompts an interesting question. Why are the newer cruise missiles larger in size? The answer to this question can be tracked back to Iran. The Block 4 variant of the Tomahawk missile, the most commonly deployed type, comes with a range of 900 miles. Iran, which has a long-standing geopolitical rivalry with Israel, has been actively pursuing pursuing nuclear capabilities for more than two decades. In light of this, it's crucial to have the ability to launch cruise missiles with a range of up to 1,700 miles. This extensive range ensures that, when launched from a position off the coast of Israel in the Mediterranean Sea, the missile can reach every corner of Iran, thus deterring potential threats and safeguarding Israel's national security. The cruise missiles that could be launched from these tubes are likely to be nuclear-tipped ones, according to Sutton and Smutney. These missiles would be part of Israel's alleged nuclear arsenal, which is estimated to consist of about 80 to 90 warheads. Israel has never admitted or denied having nuclear weapons, but it is widely believed that it possesses them as a deterrent against its enemies in the region. Israel is also known to have developed various delivery systems for its nuclear weapons, including aircraft, ballistic missiles, and submarines. The cruise missiles that could be launched from the Draken submarine would be different from the ballistic missiles that are typically associated with nuclear weapons. Ballistic missiles follow a parabolic trajectory and reach very high altitudes before descending towards their target. Cruise missiles, on the other hand, fly at low altitudes and follow a more complex path that can evade radar detection and interceptors. Cruise missiles are also more accurate and flexible than ballistic missiles, as they can be programmed to change course and target during flight. The launching technique for these cruise missiles would also be different from the conventional method used by most submarines. Instead of ejecting the missiles from a submerged position using water pressure or gas, the Draken submarine would launch the missiles from its sail using a rocket booster motor. This motor would propel the missile upwards until it reached a safe distance from the submarine. Then, the rocket booster motor would detach and fall into the sea, while the cruise missile would activate its onboard turbine engines and continue flying towards its target at subsonic speeds. Along the way, maneuvering fins would deploy from the missile body to help navigate it and avoid obstacles. While Israel may not be inclined to launch a preemptive strike against Iran, it remains imperative for Israel to have the capability to respond effectively and ensure that Iranian nuclear facilities and potentially nuclear weapons are within the striking range of its own military assets. This necessity has led to the development and deployment of various military strategies and technologies. One such critical component is the development of cruise missiles with extended range capabilities. These missiles must be able to carry more jet fuel than conventional cruise missiles, such as the Tomahawk, in order to cover the substantial distances required to reach Iranian targets effectively. As a result of this need for increased fuel capacity, these missiles are often larger in size, making it impractical to launch them from the torpedo tubes commonly used for cruise missile deployment on submarines. Israel's defense strategy consists of multiple layers and components, reflecting the diversity and sophistication of its military forces. In addition, in addition to the pursuit of advanced cruise missiles, Israel's nuclear deterrent is spread across various branches of its armed forces. These may include nuclear gravity bombs for its F-16 fighter jets and nuclear warheads integrated into cruise missiles carried by its Dolphin 1 class submarines. The deployment of nuclear capabilities across different platforms ensures a robust and flexible response in the event of a security threat. Further bolstering Israel's military capabilities is its Jericho 2 and Jericho 3 three ballistic missiles. While the Jericho 3 boasts the necessary range to reach Iranian territory, it is vital to recognize that these missiles, along with fixed missile installations, face the vulnerability of being targeted and destroyed in a first strike scenario. 
It is clear that Israel's new submarine is designed with a specific focus on Iran. Iran's leaders have frequently expressed intentions to harm Israel, and the potential development of nuclear weapons by Tehran is a concerning issue. In this scenario, Israel's capability to respond, embodied in the future Ionis Draken submarine, could serve as a stabilizing factor deterring the outbreak of a nuclear conflict. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.